Hello, this is going to be tutorial two in the Microsoft Word series. What I want to do here is introduce how to use graphics, um, you know, things like that in a, in a word processing document. Obviously there are things like clip art, but I'm going to show you some extras. So for example, let's say you go to a web page and, you know, this could be, you know, this web page or it could be, um, you know, a scene in page or something. If I hit the print screen button at the top of the keyboard and it doesn't look like it did anything, but what it did was it pasted it into the clipboard. Now if I go back here to Word and I do edit paste, it pastes whatever is in the clipboard. Okay, so in this case you can see it's, you know, my whole desktop. All right. Now, this works great if you're trying to explain an error that you're getting to somebody or if you're trying to take a clip of something or maybe somebody sent you really, you know, a bad mail and you need to have a copy of it. Anyway, so you have your picture in here and you'll get a, a bar that will appear. Sometimes it'll be a floating bar like this, but you can dock this by dragging it down or up. I usually keep mine at the bottom so that I can find it easier and I'm going to click my crop button and I'm going to grab the black lines and I'm going to pull this in, let's just for example um, say I was going to take, just wanted to keep this part of the picture um, or even you know drag it all the way in and just take a snapshot of something and now if I was to start typing you know you could see that obviously it's not laid out the way that I would like this is one of the common problems with people inserting a graphic now if I was to right click this graphic and do format picture and go to layout I can choose something like square and that would let things wrap along next to the picture okay now one thing back if I click on the picture again you see I, then my menu comes up again down here I'll click off and then back on it has these other little things here um, for example brightness um, contrast you can change the color. In this case it's just black and white, but I could change it to washout and that just makes it real light. And in this case that wouldn't help, but if I went back to layout, or I'm sorry, format picture and then layout, and I do behind text, you can actually have text like this that would be over your picture. Okay, so you know in this case it's obviously not too exciting, but it does work. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that piece. If I was to jump back over to, you know, a web page and right click on a picture and do copy, I can go back over to Word, right click and do paste. Or you could do edit paste. Okay, so now I can drag this around and make it larger, smaller, um, whatever. And now I'm going to do insert picture from file. Okay, lots of weird random pictures in here. I'm going to go ahead and pick one like this. And now I have this picture, but let's say I want to have this on a, a different color background. Um, what I can do is click my picture, and there's this little button here. It, it says set transparent color. You click that, and you click the color you want to make transparent. And now I have a transparent picture that you know I can put on top of something or you know copy it and save it as a web page or whatever I want to do. Um, so anyway, that's that's another tip. Now the third thing is if I do insert picture clip art and I type something like cow, I can choose a picture from in here. There's multiple kinds here. I can narrow this down and say, oh, I don't want photographs, or maybe I only want photographs. So I'm going to do go. So it's only photographs. Okay. So I'm going to go back and say, well, I would also like clip art, or maybe just clip art. Okay. So I've got this picture here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find something. I'm, I'll just click one and double click it. So I've got a clip art in here. And if I right click on the picture, you'll see that I get these options, one of which is edit picture. Okay, so now that I clicked on edit picture, you notice I've got these things I can move around. If I was to double click a section like this blue section, 
I can actually change the color of this section. So for example, I'm trying to match school colors or something. Hope I matched the color there. Uh, I think so. Um, so you could just see that you could do a little bit of that. You can also grab a color and delete it. Now obviously that's not a very attractive picture, but you know, you get the idea. Now where I have used this in the past is if I have a picture of, you know, maybe a few little kids and they don't necessarily represent the population of my class, I can make some of the skin browner or, you know, change the hair color from yellow to brown or black. Um, you can do all kinds of great stuff with it. Um, the other thing, let's see. The other thing that is, if you have a, a large picture and you crop some of it, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, crop out part of Indiana Jones here. This is in the new movie, by the way, that's not released yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crop all this out. And so you would think that that would make this picture, the document overall, a lot smaller. And it doesn't, because the entire picture is still here. If I click this again and go back to my crop tool, I can drag this back out, and you see that the picture is still part of the document. And what you can do is you can have a picture like this, and I can click off of it, and I can you know, make it larger. I can, now that I have the picture selected, there's this option here that says Compress Pictures. And if I click that, it gives me an option, like do you want this for print or web? I can click Web, and All Pictures and Document, doesn't really matter, and I'll click OK. And Apply. Now, you probably don't notice too much of a difference here. Sometimes you'll do this, and the color or whatever will get really skewed. But what that does is now if I was to try to go back and uncrop it, that stuff out here is gone. That's no longer part of the picture, and the document will be much, will be much smaller. All right, so that's, that's kind of an introduction to using pictures in Word. So I hope that helps.